Today we are going to be talking about everybody's favorite shopping platform. I feel like everyone uses Amazon, orders a ton of stuff, stays on Amazon 24-7, or that's probably just me, but whatever. <laughs> Regardless, today I'm going to be talking about my Amazon baby registry and everything I have on it from the perspective of being a preschool teacher for five years and also being a full-time nanny throughout my years nannying babysitting and being a preschool teacher i have seen literally any kid and baby contraption you can think of i have seen it i have tried it i have tested it i've let parents know this is great i've let parents know this thing sucks <laughs> um so over the years i've been able to test out quite a bit of stuff so that was definitely very helpful when I became pregnant and getting ready to have my own baby and creating my own baby registries for the first time was super fun. What's actually really funny is I created my baby registry years and years and years ago because I would see so much cool baby stuff and I was like, do you know what? Like, I want to keep track of all this stuff. Like, so if I would see something new and cool that I thought like, oh, this is really interesting or like dang this makes life so much easier i would put it on my registry so quick and then like literally um like if we tried it and it like kind of sucked then we would put it like i would delete it off the registry basically so yeah my registry has 100 items on it um i'm not gonna <laughs> go and like talk about literally every single thing because that would be a very long very boring video so yeah let's jump right in and okay so when you make your Amazon um, baby registry if you have prime um, your prime goes to the baby stuff so if someone like buys something off of your baby registry then it's still delivered to you quickly using your prime regardless of if they have prime or not so I thought that was really cool Amazon also gives you a baby registry box um, I want to go back and see what you have to do to get that box and then you also get a completion discount which I've <laughs> I've already used I think in order to get the completion discount you had to spend like you had to spend like $50 um, or you had to buy $50 worth of stuff off of your registry which was very easy for me to do and then you use you're eligible for the discount 14 days after you create your registry up until 60 days before the arrival date of your baby so whatever the arrival date is that you put in um, and you can use the discount on orders it'll be a 10 to 15 percent or a 10 percent discount for non prime members and a 15 permit 15 percent discount for prime members and you can use it on orders up to a combined value of two thousand dollars so I used it I thought the discount was actually really great um, and then I also got the Amazon baby box. Um, it came in like this cute little like Amazon Prime bag. Um, let me actually go get that. So when you do the baby registry, um, you get this cute little Amazon baby registry bag. And it came with a lot of cute stuff. I don't have everything in it that came in there. I honestly don't remember everything. And then I've also put some other random stuff in this bag. You know how it is, just put stuff in the bag and throw it off the side. But anyway, um, it came with this wide neck Dr. Brown's bottle, this Mam bottle, which I thought was cool that it came with a ton of different bottles for you to test out. It came with a bunch of coupons right here. And then, um, this Aquaphor sample came with that. Baby Cetaphil. Um, a little sample of gripe water. Um, baby Dove Lotion, which is so great. I actually need to put that in her diaper bag now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, and then the rest of the stuff that I have in the bag is just random stuff. But yeah, I thought this was cute um, and nice. And like I said, I really like the fact that you could um you got multiple bottle samples to kind of help you decide like 
um, what your baby likes. So if you're one of those, I know like there's some people that wait to order bottles um, and they buy them like individually so that they won't have like all these sets. So people like test out different bottles and then see what their child likes the best. But anyway, jumping onto my registry, like I said, I have um, like a hundred items on my registry. Um, as of today, 83 of the items have been purchased. So that's such a huge blessing. I love that so much. Um, the first thing I have on the registry is a play gym by Little Dove Baby. It's cute. It's like a neutral, like boho baby play gym. It's super cute. Um, the next thing I have on here is like a little wooden push elephant and wooden little like play toys. I have the Angel Care Baby Bath Seat. I feel like everyone has that these days. It's like that little gray seat um, that you can like prop the baby up on. Um, of course, I have um, hangers. I wanted to get her the cute velvet um, baby hangers. Um, and then I got her the neutral color like I have. I think it's like a, just like a natural um, tub or whatever cute color that I have. I have a portable sound machine because um, when I used to take my nanny babies on walks, it was really nice to have like the little clip on portable sound machine that you can um, literally bring anywhere with you. So we were able to clip it onto the stroller, clip it onto the car seat, um, and like take it on trips with us. And then of course she has like her, um, like she'll have her sound machine that's like in the room with her. And then a baby wrap. I have a baby monitor on here. Um, one second, baby's crying. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have on the registry after the baby wrap carrier is the um, video baby monitor. I personally believe that's better to have than the one where you can only hear them. Only because like for me, I cut the sound completely down on the video monitor, but it's nice to look at them. If you are obsessive like me, <laughs> um, then you wanna be able to look at your baby and make sure first of all that your baby is breathing. Um, and then sometimes like babies wake up and they are, they have like that quick little whimper cry. But when you look at the camera, their eyes are closed. You can tell they're just readjusting and maybe just whining because they're readjusting. So you don't want to go in the room, obviously, if they're not fully awake. So that's nice to have. And then there's tons of many other reasons that it's nice to have a um, video monitor so I got that one this one is just like super inexpensive and nice to have um, I put some nipple shields on here because um, when I had my daughter she was able to latch but my nipples are inverted so that's just something that we um, that's just something that was helpful to me to have um, obviously baby diapers so I put um, literally every size from newborn to size four um i did two boxes of newborn um like six or seven boxes of size one because they stay in a size one for quite a while um and then a few boxes of size two size three size four and so on um i've known people to put a whole diaper subscription on their registry which i thought was nice but amazon didn't give me the option to put um the like honest i think honest does a diaper description or a diaper subscription as well as like other people but amazon didn't give me the option to put that on there um and then i have some medela breast milk storage bottles like just some additional ones um some like baby hakas but these are just like the cheaper version of them but they work literally just as well that's one thing tried and true that i have learned um from nannying and babysitting all these years is everything that's like 30, 40, 50 plus dollars because it has a name brand on it. It's just as good as the Amazon stuff that's available for literally half the price and you're getting more stuff. Um, I have the Munchkin 360 Liz and Straws in here. <laughs> um, a like little baby booster high cheap or little baby booster and high C combo. I thought that was nice as well as a mat. So with this Ingenuity Baby Base Booster, um, they can sit in it to play, to eat, um, for snacks, and you can sit it on the floor, on the table, or hook it up to your dining room chair, which I thought was great. Um, I have the Graco Modes Pramet Travel System. I thought it was really nice that this stroller um, is a convertible stroller. It does 
Um, you can sit the car seat in it, um, tradition like the traditional method. You can turn it into a pramet, which lays flat into like a full baby bassinet, which I thought was so great for walks and stuff. And then it also, that pramet is not like a separate piece. It also converts to a toddler seat. So even if you like have full intentions to like use that pramet and life happens and you don't, it still converts to a toddler seat and literally is fine. <laughs> so that's great. Um, more baby diapers, cute little baby toys are on here. Um, I do have the Philips Avent Natural Care Baby Newborn Sets on here. I love those. I love Philips Avent bottles so much. I've used so many different bottle brands over the years. Some that I've loved, some that I've hated. Um, but literally like I love the Philips Avent Natural. The anti-colic ones are nice as well, but the Avent Naturals to me may make the breast the best. You get more flow. And then those are the only nipples I know of that have a size zero, um, which helps so much when you have a newborn that's breastfed because they're learning to pull that milk out. And sometimes like they're pulling too fast. So that size zero nipple really helps them slow down. Um, I have a cute little stuffed elephant pasty attachment, which is so cute. Um, I do like the wubba nubs, like where the elephant is like on or like the animal is on the pasty, but I wanted to have the option to take it on and off. Like if the stuff, like if the stuffy gets dirty or whatever, like I've had nanny babies where we've had to wash it all. And I just don't like the idea of like putting a passy in the washing machine with the stuffed animal. So I like the option to take it off. I have extra nipples on here, cute little nursery decor, my pump, pumping bags, um, stain remover spray. Um, this brand, Till You, has like really affordable but really good quality stuff. I really, really love Till You. So I have their changing pads on here. Um, I love organic plain white burp cloths. You literally cannot go wrong with those any type of organic material will be so soft to your baby i know people are like organic but it's so much softer it's amazing um of course i have a hands-free pumping bra on here um another cute little seat um i love the fisher sit me up floor seat it's really good development to wise for your baby helps them to sit up they're able to look around the room and play and engage um i have baby bibs on here and mittens um, these hats with the bows on them are a cute alternative to those like ugly hospital hats. So that was cute to have. Obviously a sterilizer, baby carrier, um, a baby crib, um, the Boone grass countertop. I really like that because you can put your things on there wet, just like any drying rack. But this one, um, it just seems to have like more ventilation, traditional like drying racks. First of all, on your counter are not cute. This Boone lawn, or the Boone grass is really cute. So is the lawn, but I like the white grass one. It's just really cute. It looks really modern. I love the look of it. Some cute little baby outfits I have on here. And then I also have the Snuggle Me Organic and the Snuggle Me Organic covers, some baby onesies. Um, again, that brand Till You, I love them. So I have cute little crib sheets from them a Graco pack and play um, with the bassinet top. I will be using that. I work from home, so I'll be um, using that for her like while I'm working so she can nap like in the same room as me and I can kind of keep an eye on her. And then of course she'll sleep in her crib at night. I have this super cute diaper bag on here, this super cute baby play mat, some baby bows some swaddle me swaddles i love the swaddle me pods because they are so foolproof um when she is like say i'm like not at home and she's just here with her dad or whatever like he doesn't have to worry about knowing how to swaddle her he just puts her in and zips her up i love these they're so great a cute little baby knotted gown i have on here the forehead scanner um thermometer i love those and this one was like crazy affordable ten dollars it works really good i've already purchased it um and like practice i've used it like on myself on my nieces i seriously love it i can't believe it was only ten dollars like i'm probably gonna buy another one um i love these cute holiday bibs um it like there's a bib for every holiday i think that's just cute <laughs> that's not anything you need it's just cute um the nail frida 
baby nail clipper this thing is a game changer you can literally see the baby's nail as you're clipping it so you never have to wonder if you're getting like too much like um if you're getting too much nail like you never have to guess if you're getting any skin if you're gonna accidentally make them bleed like this is amazing because you can literally see um i have some baby medicines on here baby Ganex wipes the boppy newborn lounger i really like that the traditional boppy is nice for nursing but the newborn the newborn lounger is nice for your baby to have something to kind of like relax on sleep on like it's just it's just really cute so i like that um i have some flannel and nipple cream that's like the number one thing breastfeeding moms have told me to make sure that i have so i registered for a good bit of that some cute blankies a stroller fan clip that's another important staple when you're traveling or like going on walks i live in the south so it gets very hot in the summer so having a, a stroller fan is really nice and pair that pairing that with the portable sound machine you're gonna have a nice <laughs> sleeping baby that loves to be in the stroller that loves to be in the car seat because you'll be able to soothe them like anywhere you go um i have some sleep sacks on here and a convertible car seat is the last thing i have on here that's not something that um if I don't get it purchased that I'll be hurt about because she won't need it until she's about six months or so. Um, but I did the gray coat extend to fit convertible car seat because in my experience, the convertible ones that kind of grow with your baby are super duper nice to have. And um, they're, they're just like really great to have and you can use them literally, I think it says from six pounds to uh 60 pounds so that's a huge time span that's a huge lifespan for a car seat um so i really really love that all right so that was the last item on my amazon baby registry i will link it in the description below in case there's anything i mentioned that you love or have any questions about you can scroll through for yourself see what you like and want to add to your registry but thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up so I'll know what type of content to continue to create for you guys. But that's all. Thanks so much for watching.